Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Yun Jung Min. Tensions are rising in Gaza. The Israeli Defense Force continues expanding its ground offensive against Hamas there, having entered what it calls the second phase of the war. Iran says Israel has crossed the red lines, while U.S. President Joe Biden urges Israel to prioritize the saving of civilian lives. Yi Soo-jin starts us off. Israel is expanding its ground operations despite the escalating death toll in Gaza. According to Palestinian media on early Monday, Israeli troops bombarded the Strip with fierce air and artillery strikes. The airstrikes reportedly hit areas near Gaza City's hospitals and Palestinian and Israeli militants also clashed in a border area east of Khan Yunis in the enclave south. This comes just hours after Israel released images of battle tanks on the west coast of the Gaza Strip, largely seen as a potential move to surround Gaza's main city. The Israeli military said that it has struck 600 militant targets over the past few days, saying in a statement that IDF troops killed dozens of terrorists who barricade themselves in buildings and tunnels. The airstrikes are part of what Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called the second stage of its retaliatory assault against Hamas. The war inside the Gaza Strip will be long and difficult and we are ready for it. With Israel continuing air raids on Gaza, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi renewed threats against the country on Sunday, saying that it had crossed the red line in Gaza, which may force everyone to take action, hinting at the possibility of Tehran getting involved in the conflict. Taking to social media, President Raisi said the U.S. told Iran not to do anything, but Washington continues to give widespread support to Israel. Meanwhile, calls for a humanitarian ceasefire continue to grow as the death toll mounts. According to the White House on Sunday, U.S. President Joe Biden told Netanyahu that Israel should conduct its operations in Gaza in a manner consistent with international humanitarian law that prioritizes the protection of civilians in their first phone call since the Israeli military expanded its ground operations in Gaza on Friday. According to Gaza's health ministry, the death toll among Palestinians passed 8,000, mostly women and children, since armed conflict began on October 7th, while 1,400 have been killed on the Israeli side, most of them being civilians. Isujin, Arirang News.